Okay, so here's our reflection video on our project. Um, I'll start. Okay. Um, my project, the driving question it was, how does natural effect, natural selection affect humans? And my students, the, the main part of the project was for them to design computer models using Stella to uh, model a particular area on natural selection. So one group uh, researched lactose uh, persistence and how we can drink milk now as adults in some cultures and how natural selection worked with that. And another group did, uh, let's see, uh, HIV resistance and how people have become more resist, have the gene to be HIV resistant has increased over time. And so then they just designed a computer model trying to model uh, that tendency that we're seeing. Okay, and uh, my driving question was what makes a roller coaster thrilling? Okay, I did it with a pre-calculus class uh, and we were uh, specifically fo focusing on vectors and looking at the acceleration vectors and then uh, the G's, the G-forces that it are uh, put on the body at different parts of the roller coaster. And then students designed and built their own roller coaster uh, using uh, foam insulated piping and marbles. And then we used uh, software Logger Pro uh, to videotape and then analyze the velocity and acceleration on the coaster. Cool. So uh, do you just want to go through the questions then? Sure. Okay. Um, so important things we learned. Uh, I found that the time that I allotted wasn't enough, and we had a lot of delays and cancellations, so that was challenging too. Uh, but I was also impressed by the final product. Um, even though I kind of... Sh it, it went on, I would say, about five days longer than I had hoped. Mm -hmm. uh, the final product I was, I was really impressed with. So I would say sticking to a stringent timeline is not a good idea for a project I, like I would this. agree, yeah. With all, with all the cancellations, delays, uh, state testing that was involved, it really split it up and made it tough. I think uh, what I found is the, the students really enjoyed uh, seeing how we could apply uh, what we did mathematically to a real world situation where they get to design and see things firsthand on their own. They really enjoyed that. Yeah. Um, I would say the, the exact same thing. Like, now, my kids did, I, I teach biology, you teach calcul pre-calculus right. is the class you did it in. And mine doing the computer model, they are doing a lot of math too. Mm -hmm. And But it was more like just playing with relative quantities of things okay. and seeing how that uh, affected the results. So they enjoyed just testing it over and over and over mm -hmm. again. That iterative right. process, sure. uh, they really enjoyed that whole process. And I think you had the same... Thing, right? Yes, or, yeah, yeah. Was, they were, you know, uh, on the roller coaster design, building and then rebuilding and what worked and what di different didn't work. Uh, yeah, they enjoyed that. A yeah. Lot. yeah the, the one thing that, uh, you know, I noticed personally is, you know, teaching the unit, uh, you have to find that balance is that, you know, I spent four or five times longer on this project than what I would have if I would just, you know, did the quote, normal way, teach it out of textbook and move on. Yeah. But, but again, the kids really enjoyed what they did. Yeah, I think the, the interesting part there is, so you spent four times as long, and I, I think I definitely spent longer on natural selection mm -hmm. than I normally do, but do you think they'll be able to apply those concepts more in the future? Sure. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They get, I know, a much deeper understanding yeah, I think, and I think that's really the point of project-based learning is right. to try to get that deep understanding. Sure. Uh, and having that 
connection of something real they did, like making roller coasters or right. making a computer model, and yes. being able to reflect back on that. Mm-hmm. Oh, it, it was like when we made the com- when we made the roller coasters, right. when we made the right. model. So it, mm-hmm. something concrete to refer to versus. It's like page 475 in the sure. textbook yeah. we did last yeah. year. Yeah. Now, if we can just tell the state that, you know, you know, it, it's hard to cover, you know, so much and be state tested on everything. Let's just, you know, get a good understanding of some topics. Yeah, and then that's the other thing is uh, while projects are excellent, and I'm a big advocate mm-hmm. of project-based learning, uh, when they're constantly being interu- interrupted by state testing, right. uh, it becomes frustrating. And then having to worry about, who is it going to affect, you know, while in the long term the students might learn more, mm-hmm. in the short term I can probably cram more information yeah, exactly. in to prepare them for the state for test taking, yes. than I could by doing it project-based. So right. in my best interest to boost my test scores, Yes. I could just do the regu- regular rigor in my classroom, mm-hmm. yeah. when you're, uh, but you're, they won't, you know, five years from now, they'll have lost all exactly, of that. Exactly, yes. Yep. Okay. 300%. Good. Uh, let's see, what did you, it, did we cover what you enjoyed the most? Yeah, I think so. I think for mine, that, yeah, mm-hmm. go ahead. Yeah, the, the, the hands-on and seeing the kids work in groups, uh, you know, very... Rarely were they off task. You know, we'd come in, and some days I'd just say, "Hey, get going. You know what you need to do. Keep working." And they got right to work. Uh, they enjoyed it. It wasn't, uh, you know, the classroom wasn't so strict and uh, yeah. informal, uh, but they got a lot of work done. I think they learned a lot more. I was surprised by that, also by how, you know, I would just say, "Okay, just continue with the project," mm-hmm. and they actually were doing yes what they're supposed to be working on. So mm-hmm. they're actually engaged in the content, which right. is, you know, mm-hmm. can be really hard to do. Yeah. Um, yeah. I had the Heidelberg professors come in and my students gave presentations mm-hmm. on their computer models to them. And that was one of my uh, favorite parts because the students were able to defend their computer models cool. and these professors were asking them all kinds of oh, uh, that's very neat. challenging questions, yes. which... I would say about half they weren't able to answer, mm-hmm. but that they were able to defend their models at all was pretty cool. Right. Yeah. And I like the fact that I saw a lot of students helping each other. You know, when yeah. they had problems, you know, the one that understood a little bit more was teaching the other ones, you know, this is how I came up with this, this is how I came up with that. You Definitely. Know, this is what we need to do. So it was. I have. Uh, was good. I had one student, same thing. He was good and. Typically, he's not a good biology student. Kind of sits mm-hmm. in the back and uh, zones off. But here, he was helped his group, and then he was going around and helping other groups too, mm-hmm. which I, you know, in some respects I, I thought was fantastic. In other respects, I kind of wanted them to struggle on their own too. Right. So it was kind of that give and take of how much do I want him actually to scaffold their learning. Sure. Cool. Sure. Uh, least enjoy. enjoy. State testing. State, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think we both agreed. Uh, you know, and it was awesome for the project. There was a lot of, a lot of work. You yeah. Know, when, when you throw in all the stuff we had to do for the project, all the paperwork and all this stuff, when you combine with what we do on a day-to-day basis. Right. Yeah, I think um, having teachers produce a video to represent the project is, that's, that's a lot of work. Mm-hmm. Uh, that. That takes just a lot of time away from you teaching your students, you know, but also just the amount of time after class that you'd have to go and edit the video and think, you know, pick which clips you want to right. use, putting all mm-hmm. that. Um, I would have liked a much bigger stipend. <laughs> that that would have been nice. <laughs> all right. Uh, change or difference? Change um, I don't know, uh, sticking to a more, well, it's hard to stick to a stringent timeline. Uh, yeah. If I could, I would have started it earlier in the year. Will you do this next year? Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. So what, uh, yeah. I think I will too. So mm-hmm. what will, what's one thing that you might do differently next year then? Um, 
you know, give them maybe a more stricter timeline. I was kind of free with what they had to do. Yeah, because okay. you didn't have any previous. Right, didn't have any, done this exactly one before. Yep, yep. And there are some topics uh, that I will I'll touch on previously, maybe before we do this. It'll make things go a little smoothly. Uh, and we had to spend some time. We never use Logger Pro, most of them. Sure. And so you know, uh, the first part of the project was learning how to use Logger Pro. Yeah. And so that if I can find some small projects early in the year where I can incorporate Logger Pro, yeah. which I think I can't, I will. And you then when can, it comes yeah. to the project, they'll have that experience. Definitely. Yeah. I also I spent some time teaching them how to do Stella also, so that took some time. Mm -hmm. um, as far as what I would change, I'll do the same thing next year too. Um, it's I haven't. As far as, I just hope that I could get Heidelberg professors to come back. And then oh. it's also, I don't want to do the same topics because I worry that students will copy, copy. from the year before. Sure. So that will be challenging too. For yours, mm -hmm. it's not as hard because right. it's mimicking a roller coaster sure. twice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, uh, tech integration. integration. Uh, I use it quite a bit. I mean, we had to use... Uh, Logger Pro to do all the analysis, uh, which is great. Um, we used, of course, some Google Docs so they could share information, share information with me. Um, I used, there are two or three different websites that had roller coaster simulations, uh, mm -hmm. which was very nice. Cool. And we did those before so they could, they could kind of see what the forces on a roller coaster were, how they worked. Uh, I used the website, the Physics Classroom. Uh, quite a bit, especially to help understand forces. They had to learn how to draw free body diagrams. Well, actually, we did a lot of physics nice. in the project, and it was nice to see that. You know, they, the students really saw that relationship. Hey, we did a little bit of this in physics. Now we're doing it in math. Yeah. You know, they go together. Uh, I just heard a student talk to our mm -hmm. physics teacher about. Well, we kind of did this in math. Yeah. So. Yeah. So you know, without without Logger Pro. We wouldn't have been able to do the project at all without videotaping. You know, you have to videotape the coaster and then use an log code analysis. We couldn't do this project at all without that. And then, you know, using the, the simulations and then the background resources of, available online were invaluable. Awesome. Um, so I used uh, I used Stella for modeling the computer. Uh, doing the computer models mm -hmm. and that's just awesome you get to they link different concepts together it's like object oriented so it's not mm -hmm. as much writing code and they just found it very easy to use and while they had to play around with the relative quantities to get it to have the trends that they mm -hmm. wanted they found it pretty easy and when you publish it online it looks pretty slick so Good. I think the final product they like. Also, we Skyped with experts. Uh, so students oh, emailed wow. people Neat. and tried to say, hey, will you Skype with our classroom? And mm -hmm. they found quite a few uh, evolutionary biologists that are pretty famous. And what's great about that is evolution can be controversial. They sure. hear different things from home and, sure. and, and so forth. So versus just Mr. Darko sitting there <laughs> telling them about evolution, it was nice for these experts to come in and talk about what evolution is, and then they asked all kinds of questions about evolution that they might feel uncomfortable asking me or just didn't want to ask me, right. but we're able to, I mean, the conversation was just fantastic mm -hmm. during those. Good. Cool. Good. Anything else? I don't think. I think, you know, overall, good experience. Yeah, I agree. I, student like, students liked it. I liked to see what was happening. It'll be much easier next year once we've done it. It'll be a lot less work, so yeah, that'll definitely. be a good thing. Me too. All right, good. Okay.